Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. Today we're talking about making a seamless music loop that you can export and bring into any other project, loop it however you like. In this project I have kind of a song, it's just a piano part that's going through a shimmer and some other effects. The loop is about a minute and a half long. I have the MIDI file and then it's looped a second time, so original and then the looped section and then I have a tail section. So at the beginning of the song, you hear the first attack of the piano note, uh, and then the rest is just a wash of reverb. And as it gets to the loop point, it already has that wash of reverb of everything that's coming before it. And then at the end, it's just the fade out. It's a really long loop, so I don't really want to play it all, but I'll just play you kind of the beginning. You can hear how it's kind of different between each section. So here's the beginning. And then over here on this middle section. You can hear that the delay and the, the delay and the reverb and everything kind of blends in through that first note again. And at the end it's no notes, just the tail. Which you don't hear anything um, unless this is uh, being fed something before it. So that's the layout for my music content that I'm going to export. I also put in a long fade because this particular reverb just goes on forever. So there's almost, uh, I don't know, 30 second long fade, something like that. Actually, my fade itself is a minute and 20 seconds long, so very long fade. Export settings. Master Mix, Bounds Time Selection, going to the Project folder in the Audio Files folder. I actually exported this three times, so first it was the piano, then it was Pad A and Pad B, and for that I just soloed, I just disabled the, the uh, ones I didn't want, like that. Then in the options here, Full Speed Offline, Stereo, 44.1, because I'm using a lot of effects on this, you want to dither, especially when you have a reverb tail going down to silence. Something that's very important for this trick is setting this to also export your markers and regions. So if you notice here, I have a region for the loop section, and then I have a marker for where the tail is. Because this exported file is going to have uh, three different sections, and they're going to be marked. So I export those three files like that. What you're left with when you bring them in is this. So I've got little markers called media cues on the items. So he, between here and here is my looping section. And from here on is my tail. It's just the reverb. And here is that clean uh, start. So let me play this. Right, and then here. And then the end. And it just fades out to silence. So to make our seamless loop, we need to cut this and then use the uh, one of the looping actions to create our loop we need to cut this at the media cues. So let's open up the action list and type in auto split. We're looking for this option, disable auto crossfade on split. We need to run that or else we're going to have the edges of the split items be slightly off and it won't be able to loop perfectly. Then we type in Q and we look for split at media cues and we can run and close this. And here you can see it's clean split at those markers and there is no crossfade. I'm going to bring this out to another section. So we've got our, our first playthrough tail and we have our sustained section, I guess you could call it the looping section. 
We can then run the action loop section, which is a SWS action, loop section of selected items. We can run that, and now we can drag this out. Let's just double check that, yes, this marker is in the dead center of that loop point. So now we can play this. So now we could take that and export that. I'm doing it on three different files at the same time, but you could do this on just a single stereo wave file. I kind of wanted the option of being able to maybe do a long fade in on these pads. So it starts in with the piano and then over time those pads build up. We can export this middle section as a new file. We can bring that into any project and it should loop. Another thing we can do is take the tail section, just drag that down to the tracks below or creating new tracks. I'm gonna bump that over to the start region and I'm gonna set our time selection to the items. And if we play this on cycle or on loop, it's going to um, sound just the same as this one. So let's play that. So another way of doing a perfect loop. If you're just using this within the same project, you don't need to glue or render anything again. You can just leave it as is. But if you were exporting this to a library, you would want to either run the glue action to commit your edit, uh, that looping edit, or you want to um, export it as a new file, the export time selection again. And that's about it. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you found it useful. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the website with a Patreon donation and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.